Something borrowed, something blue, and a wedding boom expected in 2022. At least that's according to new data. So Kelsey is here to break it down for us. What is going on here? Well, the weddings are coming for us this year. In fact, people will want to be saving their money because experts say that there'll be more weddings this year alone in the U.S. than they've seen in nearly four decades. The Wedding Report releasing a new survey, estimating that about 2.5 million weddings are expected to take place in 2022. The boom following a record number of cancellations, postponements, and Zoom nuptials attributed to the COVID pandemic. Relationship coach Elizabeth Overstreet not surprised by the surge in celebrations. People had a lot of time to sit still during the pandemic. And as a result of that, they really started thinking more about their relationships and being more intentional. I spoke to two couples who postponed their big wedding celebrations due to the pandemic, but who still wanted to make it official. We decided to get married at the courthouse just because we weren't sure what the future held for us. We still wanted to get married, you know, like we still wanted to become one. Now both couples are planning the big celebration for 2022, even if it comes with new concerns. Georgia couple Kristen and Ryan are thinking most about their guests. I do feel like there's a sense of guilt, right? Um, because we did have people who booked hotels and flights. Some people um, haven't been able to get refunds. An Arizona couple, Mallory and Mike Hell, are thinking about what the wedding boom means for their bank account. We ran into vendors kind of hiking up their prices across the board. There are really limited options available, and that caused the price to be about double based on the company we talked to. So interestingly enough, experts say that the cheaper weddings are actually the couples that typically last. And our relationship expert, she actually said that planning your wedding, stay focused on the relationship. Keep that open line of communication. It is not a time to become a bridezilla and then for some, a groomzilla. But also tomorrow, <laughs> we will be taking a look at how this wedding boom is affecting uh, other vendors like venues and florists. It is really a boom. I mean, that's not an exaggeration. Oh. And you know that. I've already You're Having to budget yes. all your vacation. I'm like, right? no more weddings this year, you guys. <laughs> so. And I can understand why they say people feel a sense of guilt, you know, with their, their guests spending all that money on non refundable rooms and but tickets. Some people, well, right. yes, exactly, last year. But some people, they like very expensive weddings. Yes, <laughs> as you know. <laughs> yes. All right, Kelsey, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.